Hello everybody, Dr. Asi Peretz here. Today I'm going to be discussing some of the more technical aspects of hair transplantation. How a hair transplant works, basically, is we take hairs from areas that are non-balding, like the sides and the back, and we transplant those hairs onto areas that are balding. Now those hairs that we extract never ever grow back. And what we're creating, essentially, is an illusion of thick hair in areas that are balding. So how can us surgeons tell how much hair we can remove from the sides and back without it looking terrible and patchy? And this brings us to today's subject, donor management and coverage value. Let's begin. So today's lecture is for nerds only because it does get quite involved, so let's go. The first thing you have to understand about donor area management is something called coverage value. Now, coverage value was discovered by a very, very smart FUE pioneer named Dr. Korai Erdogan. And he really paved the road for us to do proper donor management in patients. Okay, so let's talk about coverage value. Simply put, coverage value is the diameter of the hair multiplied by the number of hairs per square centimeter. That will give you a value for any given area in the head, namely occipital, temporal and parietal. Let's do an example together so we can understand how we calculate it. Okay, so say you have an 80 micrometer diameter hair and in that specific area about 120 hairs per square centimeter. So what will your coverage value be? Well that's very simple. That is 0.08 because we want it in centimeters times 120 hairs, it gives you a coverage value of 9.6. Very simple. Now, we know through thousands and thousands of data sets and collections uh, by some of the great guys in the world, FUE Institute, we know that the acceptable range for coverage value is between 5 and 7, depending on the patient, depending on the type of balding, and depending on what you believe the future will be for this patient. Okay, so let's say for this patient, we want to get him down to a coverage value of 5 and his existing coverage value is 9.6. So we can remove 4.6 worth of coverage value. Why? Because the current value is 9.6, our targeted value is 5, 9.6 minus 5 is 4.6 and that is the extracted value. Okay. Now, let's do a little bit of mathematic wizardry. Okay, simple algebra. Let's take the formula. Coverage value is equal to hair caliber times hairs per square centimeter. Now we know the coverage value is 4.6, that's what we want to extract. And we know the hair caliber is 0.08, but we want to find out how many squares per se square centimeter we can take, so we mark that as x. And then we easily solve for x, 4.6 divided by 0.08, and that leaves us with 57.5 hairs per square centimeter that can be safely removed from this donor area. Okay, so we know the amount of hairs that need to be removed, but how many follicles do we need to remove? Because that's what we are doing at the end of the day, FUE follicular unit extraction. So how many follicular units can we remove? Well, our technology gives us the average amount of hairs per follicle, okay? So it becomes very simple. If we know how many hairs per square centimeter we can remove, that's 57.5, and we know that this patient has 2.2 hairs per follicle, all we do is we divide the amount of hairs by the average amount of hairs per follicle, and we get 26 follicular units per square centimeter that can be removed safely without any negative cosmetic outcomes. Now, if your total area of your occiput is 70 square centimeters, then we say 70 times by the 26 follicular units that we can extract, we get 1,829 that we can safely extract from your occipital area. And that's how we know exactly how many grafts to extract from a patient. Now we use a little device called a Keybot and that helps us estimate all these values. It gives us the diameter of the hair, it gives us the number of hair per square centimeters, it gives us the amount of hairs per follicle as well. And with all this information, we can really make a sound surgical plan 
to make sure that you're not left over harvested and that you'll always look cosmetically good. Now I know so many clinics out there give patients quotes and surgical plans and say, oh, we, we'll extract maximum grafts, we'll extract 5,000, 6,000 grafts for you. My question is, how can they do this without accurately diagnosing your donor area? And you should just be very aware of this because I would not recommend going to a clinic that doesn't actually mathematically assess your donor area versus your recipient area and make a proper surgical plan. Thank you.